welcome to the last show in our current run of Mock the Week. And what a series it's been. We've danced the samba, we've played the harp, and we've enjoyed some hilarious characters, ranging from Trago Mills and Princess Monaco of Kent to Alex Salmond. So, <laughs> crazy time. Let's see if we can recapture a bit of that magic now as we present our annual randomly assembled jumble of outtakes, old favourites and brand new material. Hope you enjoy it. We start with a round call if this is the answer. What is the question? On the board are six categories. Sarah, which category would you like? Politics, please. OK, uh, the category is politics. The answer is oil, money and missiles. What is the question? Is that um, hashtag Iraq war spoilers? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how is Chelsea Football Club funded? <laughs> is it the Middle East version of rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> <laughs> is it is three it... things that A and E nurses have found up people's bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> is it three things America looks for in an enemy? <laughs> Is it since I've grown a beard what I'm most likely to be searched for at an airport? <laughs> <laughs> Is it what does Abu Qatada shout at the moment of orgasm? <laughs> Today, I'm going to move towards the correct answer. Right, Is it I say? lost a stone on which diet? <laughs> <laughs> The correct answer is this is um, things that are going to be affected if Scotland get independence. Mm. That is, is, yeah. I'll Whatever it that. is, it's, it's about Scottish independence. It is. Or as I'm... I like to call it, the Great British Break Off. <laughs> 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 Do you know, my, my, my big worry about the whole Scottish independence thing is what happened, how they introduced Friday morning, how they introduced Good Morning Britain. Well, I, well, I presume worry. what happened, if it's a yes vote, is that on, on one of the Good Morning shows, uh, we will see live footage of Lorraine Kelly being arrested and put into a back of a truck with other well-known Scottish people and being sent <laughs> back to Scotland to host a show if she wants up there. Who knows how she, she'll forage for berries or something, I don't know. <laughs> She and other Scots will this and be, be driven away uh, and dumped at the border. And I uh, don't applaud that. It's clearly a joke. It hasn't come true, right, Tyra? Yes, yes. That'll show them. That'll show the ones who had no vote. I'm quite excited for him to go independent, though, because then when I have a Scotch egg, I can claim to like foreign food. <laughs> like I thought that. Scotch eggs were where Scottish people came from. <laughs> I've actually got a, a genuine, um, you know, concern about this because um, my wife and I had a baby it, during the Edinburgh Festival, uh, not completely unexpected, we, you know, went through the normal procedures or whatever, <laughs> but, but basically what happened was we had the baby during the festival and then didn't register the baby because we were told that we were, could come back here and do it and came back here and they said, oh, you should have done it in Scotland. So now I'm going to go back to Scotland, like, on the, when it's all going on and I don't know if I'll be allowed to keep him yet. Uh, I mean, that's, <laughs> He may be raised as Scottish. I might just uh, have to take him then, just leave him and say, you know, just write or something. But OK, because <laughs> Lorraine Kelly will gather him up, but when she's foraging for berries, uh, <laughs> she'll separate some out for your child. But it, was it was lovely. I don't know, like, have, the, being in the birth is a horrible... For the man, I think, it's a really... It's a difficult... I mean, for the woman, in it's the tough, birth. too. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. Don't I mean, get me wrong. It's looked like it wasn't pleasant for, the, <laughs> for her. But, like, they have to show you the placenta afterwards. Oh, so that you... God. No, no, seriously. What's this that... got to do with independence? <laughs> <laughs> this one can show... live on its own. They were looking at it. They had it spread out on the floor, oh, and I was just sort of was... watching while they were looking at it, and all I was thinking was, like, my phone is charging right next to that. Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried did, did about you... it. I said, were you in the, the delivery room, and did you go, this man, I got no, I got no chart. Can I just, uh... <laughs> Is this, is this machine that goes bip? Is that doing anything? Can I? Yeah, just for ten minutes, because I'm, I'm in the red here. I, do. I was born in a corridor. You were born? Everyone's born in a corridor. No, no, no. <laughs> can, you, can you two speak German? Yeah. Ein bisschen, yeah. Because yeah. I was in, the, in Oxford Street the other day, and this German tourist came up to me and spoke to me in German. She you are quite German. Germanic looking, though. Yeah, I know. And I, I don't know any German. And yours is, you do tend to... I went, don't know what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't look good, but then why are you dressed in lederhosen uh, and, <laughs> and slapping your ankles, doing the slapping yeah. ankles I just dance. love October and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same thing. People think I'm German. People think I'm any fat, bald man. <laughs> I'm a 
funny. He's just like you. Here's a picture of him. You go, oh. Uh, <laughs> horrible looking man. Anyway. Who's your looky likey, though? Well, obviously. A celebrity looky likey. Me the mega is a mega bus man a celebrity? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this day. Yeah, Al Murray, I want to say. Al Murray, a lot. Al Murray? Al Murray, yeah. Yeah, he looks nothing like you, mate. The, uh, I told I him to come up to me in Chiswick and say, uh, hello, Al Murray. And I went, no. And the guy went, oh, I'm sorry. Hello, pub landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Up and I left him thinking, Jesus, Al Murray's a prick, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what other innovations have we seen in this World Cup? Spray foam. Spray foam. Love it. <laughs> spray foam is magic. It's so exciting, isn't it's it? It's really good, yeah, isn't it? Like, really because great. it's actually, people, I think people genuinely think it's, it, it's like a wall, like a wall that magically creates a barrier. They go, and they go, oh, like they're trapped in a crystal prison. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Superman, and do, oh, out of here. I'm trapped against the glass. It, it does disappear pretty quickly, but if you're going to put a white line in front of footballers, it's going to go. <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> I'm not warned us about it. So it just looked like he'd completely lost the plot. <laughs> Vanessa started writing things in Big Brother. Look, look, yeah, you know, I can't yeah. deal with the pressure. I'm just spraying on the ground. <laughs> and the choice of music. Doesn't mean an inspiring piece of music. The ITV music in particular is just a guy going, Brazil. <laughs> and they put the rest of the song out. It's like it's a really good song. It's a really famous samba song. That one with like dun 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 dun. dun. No, we don't want that. We just want the way you go, Brazil. Uh, <laughs> I like, I like it. Obviously, I love the Brazilian rhythms. Um, yes, yeah. obviously. Obviously, I, I look at you and I think, here's a man who loves Brazilian rhythms. <laughs> <laughs> I think Josh Whitaker and I think the intoxicating <laughs> samba rhythms of Brazil. <laughs> no, we see you backstage, Josh, where you wear that giant, like, headdress that comes out of the way out of the And you're just uh, in there going, hey, hey what are we going to talk about the show today? <laughs> 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 Cheeky little look in your face. I'm looking forward to when they watch this bit of the show and then get you in for the final. It's going to be brilliant, isn't it? You sambering across the ITV studio. If they me to Brazil for the final, I will wear the headdress. I am dun 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 I think if we had a whip round with this studio audience, it could happen. I get to Brazil. I'll just go to the beach behind the ITV studios. Dun 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 dun. And will not go. I will not go. Climbing up the glass window behind the BBC studio. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. I would do that. In other news, what is happening here? A lorry is driving along a road. Yes, it is. <laughs> Have you any idea what may oh, have occurred really? after that? that? I think a pig escapes, doesn't it? Yeah. A pig escapes. Yeah. That pig there, which is clearly attempting to escape. Does it, oh, is, it, is there a pig driving all the other pigs? No! <laughs> <laughs> I heard about them flying, but this is quality. <laughs> No, no, they, the pigs haven't arranged a communal escape. Oh. That's the second. Oh, I know. Oh. I'll, I'll pause there before we go. It's, the drama it's... of that before we see yeah. how, what the resolution was. That is quite a picture of is a that, pig approaching the ground. Is that proof that pigs can't fly? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely cut the budget on Splash. <laughs> <laughs> Send it off to other countries. Yeah. They never make it properly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is the pig uh, midway through the escape. This is in mean, China, isn't it? It's in China. Yeah. It's in southern China, actually, yeah. Uh, and so the pig has a leap. Sorry, I, it looks like that's not going to work out well from This is the pig after that. Oh. There he is. Oh, yes. It's that great. Is. And finally, here's the pig. Most recent picture of the pig. Oh. Uh, In other news, what has David Cameron claimed he can't get on holiday? Oh, this, this is this the is... idea that he can't actually get mobile phone reception mm. when he's on holiday in Cornwall. Said that he couldn't actually hear President Obama on the phone once. And you're thinking, surely that's just Obama, isn't it? Going, oh, I can't be asked to speak to Cameron. I'm losing you, David! <laughs> I'm losing you! <laughs> Bye! It's a very kind of terrifying situation that World War Three could break out, but David Cameron would not know and be at the Penzance Otter Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shall we invade Iran, David? Sorry, I'm at Trago Mills doing my shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Good West Country knowledge. That's excellent West Country knowledge. Have you been to Trago Mills? I've never been to Trago Mills. What That's is it, please? It is a <laughs> shop. <laughs> Thank you. It's a shop halfway down the A38 that sells cheap carpets, 
and uh, sports equipment, and it's also made to look like a mock Tudor castle, and it has peacocks roaming the ground. <laughs> a Kegel Mill sounds like a bad guy from a Bond movie. <laughs> yes. You have crossed me <laughs> once too often, but you will rue the day you crossed Trago Mills. <laughs> uh, I have cheap carpets and conservatory furniture. <laughs> Why does he want to take work calls when he's on holiday anyway? He's on, he's on holiday, for heaven's sake. Obama shouldn't, shouldn't be ringing him when he's on holiday. He should be, he should be more bloody respectful. <laughs> And secondly, we don't want him to be answering work calls. When he's on holiday, he needs to relax and get himself into the right sort of state of mind for running the country. You don't want him to be sort of making important phone calls about policy at the same time as he's trying to prevent his children squeezing sun cream into the car radio or something. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like the most boring... I mean, I've been on some bad holidays. Now I've gone, oh, what did we get up to? Sat with our back to the beach and enjoyed a bottle of water. Um... <laughs> Next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask you to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features the party leaders. So I have resigned as Foreign Secretary. Did I tell you how I'm planning to spend my well-earned retirement? Uh, yes, you did, William. Uh, I thought not. I am planning to spend it with Angelina Jolly. She loves me, Angelina. She says my big bald head reminds her of a baby and she and Brad are hoping to adopt me. <laughs> So, Mr Miliband, if you'd just like to sit here between two people with power. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how, how are you getting on? Well, we did very well in the uh, local elections. Uh, how, how, how did you get on, Nick? How many, how many seats did the Liberal Democrats win? Uh, well, thank you for mentioning that, Ed. We won, um, let me think about it, we won uh, one, two, one, uh, three. <laughs> three oh, well done. Mm. So I'll just text Alex Salmon. Loser! Loser! <laughs> Look, here comes Cameron. Look the other way. <laughs> well, good morning, chaps. How are you? Thank you very much indeed. I'll have a bottle of the Mouton Rothschild 82. <laughs> I can't read the small writing. I'll just get out my new glasses. Don't think anyone's, uh, anyone's noticed, so that's good. Okay. Are you, you wearing glasses, Dave? Oh, no! <laughs> Cameron's wearing glasses! <laughs> Oh, childish, I'm childish. I'll, I'll tell you what, though, Nick, I don't think you'll have them for very long. I think you'll probably leave them in a pub like his children. <laughs> yes, that is pathetic. Right, <laughs> never mind. I'll, um, OK, I'll put them away. That's what I'll do. Yeah, uh, uh, here's another one, Dave. Uh, uh, how many fingers am I holding up? He can't see! He can't see! <laughs> Cameron blind, yeah. I, I, I'll tell you what, Dave, you're, you're, you're so posh, you, you should be wearing a monocle. <laughs> yes, well, that's, uh, that's very good, Ed, but uh, I think you'll find that at least I can see the political writing on the wall, unlike you, you unelectable twat. <laughs> oh. oh, that's very funny, Mr Magoo. <laughs> and by the way, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't talk to me again like that unless you want me to carry on mocking the geek. <laughs> oh, that's a bit unfair. Yes, a bit sad now. I don't like that at all. <laughs> a little bit, I'm a little bit hurt by that. Yeah. So, when the Queen comes, we have the bingo, then we have the fish and chips, then we have the quiz, and then we bring the strippers in. So, that's... <laughs> uh, just while we're all there, I just wanted to check. Uh, people are saying I'm weird. Uh, you, you people don't think I'm weird, do you? I'm just an ordinary bloke. Don't, you, don't think, you two don't think I'm weird, do you? I'm not weird. No, no, not at all, Ed, no. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> that is so In other news, what has the government promised motorists this week? They, they've said that if your um, ticket machine is broken, then you can just park there. Which is basically going to lead to people getting to the ticket machine, seeing they've got no change, getting the baseball bat out the back of their car. I've got no change, but I do have a baseball bat. What sort of impulse purchase is that? <laughs> uh, no, just, a, just, a, just a bar of chocolate peas. <laughs> Hello, are they baseball bats? <laughs> <laughs> Why has Pickles done this now? I, I reckon all that's happened is recently Eric Pickles got a parking ticket when he was only ten minutes late, and he's thought, oh, I could do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, he looks like that. He looks like Trago Mills. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed me for the last time, Mr Bond. <laughs> uh... His hat, rather weirdly, has got the face of an owl, if you look at it. <laughs> An interesting related note, what did Labour promise for everyone this week on Twitter? Oh, owls! owls. <laughs> Genuinely owls. The Labour Twitter feed, they claim, got hacked with the words, everybody should have his own owl. <laughs> this is... this is sinister. <laughs> this is Trago Mills. Uh... 
He's infiltrated both political parties at the same time. Well, I don't know. I think it's a, giving birds a prey away. I think it's a quick fix, but it's not a long-term solution. <laughs> of my own. I was looking forward to getting an owl to talk to. <laughs> All I've got is my Henry Hoover. <laughs> you know, my is if, if, you, if you lived at home with an owl and said, oh, just you and me, now, owl, and then the owl just slowly turned its head away. <laughs> what messages has David Cameron given to Scottish voters? He's been doing film quotes mainly, hasn't he? He said, uh, you know, there's no going back. He said that. He said, we'll always have Paris. <laughs> I don't want to close. I want your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> your motorcycle. <laughs> That's how boring. That like Sorry, like I want your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Hey, I'm talking to the people. I want your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But hang on. But it's, you know, I can't. I'm not your dancing bitch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Exclusively said that I would dance in order to gain free tickets to the Brazil World Cup. Oh. This going out at this point post the Brazil World Cup is just me. Nike Air. Yep, the tossers want to split that Oh fucking elbow. <laughs> If they wanted to compare it to a film that brought suffering to millions, they should have compared it to that one about Princess Monaco of Kent. Uh, Princess no, is that her name? Oh. Princess Monaco. I don't know her fucking her name. name. I just know it was a terrible Prince film. Princess Grace never of again. Monaco. Princess, Princess <laughs> Monaco of Kent. <laughs> why does cool being, why, being cool matter? No why does it matter? Being cool would be cool. Okay, it's well, never really been the most important no. thing no. in politics. It was oi. Hi, Gandhi, love the sheets thing. It's great. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the look. Loving Imagine it. Winston. Winston, standing up to fascism. Cool vibe, man. Cool vibe, man. Prime Ministers are on cool. Cool vibe, man. Cool vibe, man. I come from a well, different era. of course, era. of course you don't <laughs> think that being cool is important. You use phrases like cool vibe, man. <laughs> <laughs> totally rad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them on into you. And I'm at the... I'm being <laughs> Irish. Get off. I'm being Irish now. <laughs> <laughs> what did French police recently lose at Marseille Airport? Was it Princess Monica of Kent? <laughs> You know what, Gary? They, when you get one thing wrong, they can be very mean on this show, yes. can't they? <laughs> yes. Oh, come on, this is happy. This is nice, Mockdown. <laughs> <right? laughs> oh, sorry. So you just want the, you literally you want those two words? Last week. <laughs> I can give you. I can give you a number of different ones. Last week. Last week. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you weren't a sexy last week. Oh, sorry, I'll tell you. <laughs> last week. It's either sexy or a taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cinderella, she said, I'm your fairy princess, Princess Monaco of Kent. <laughs> In other news, how is David Cameron shaking things up this week? Who would answer that first time? It was Andy answered it, and he's, he's gone him. for a wee. But he's probably, <laughs> to be honest, he's Doesn't probably doing it. some shaking of his own at this yeah. moment. So... <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter in the same way that the points don't matter. Uh, OK. So, Shall we get, it, Ed, do you want to answer that? In what? other news, why, how is David Cameron shaking things up this week? He's been learning to jive. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we uh, <laughs> have a go. That's what all the kids are doing. Cool vibes, man. <laughs> you need a powder ramesh, OK. Oh, sorry, I should have it's announced that. You could just quietly powdered ramesh oh, instead. It's a bit peaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The uh, brown's wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> I say 
think of a celebrity whose veneers I'd like to copy? Um, probably Princess Monaco of Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I want a crown? Well, I'm Princess Monaco of Kent. <laughs> <laughs> this is most unusual, madam. You don't seem to have any teeth at all. What's that? You here for a smear test? That's next door. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... <laughs> See, if I'd have added Princess Monaco of fucking Kent to the end of that, <laughs> the, uh, What new form of male contraception might be available within three years? I found this very disconcerting that there might be a male contraceptive in three years because my boyfriend told me he's been on it for six months. <laughs> <laughs> we will oh, do that. It's just worrying. This yeah. is a gel that supposedly blocks the tube from the testicles to the penis. Yes, it so, is. So, and you're thinking... <laughs> Well, you know, maybe no sperm will now come out, but it just means that your testicles are going to be bloody huge, aren't they? <laughs> You'll be like carrying around these watermelons. You'll be like a buster gonad. You'll have, yeah. you have to have a little wheelbarrow yeah. to go yeah. around, won't it's you? A it's a tough life. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get through it, though. Yeah. <laughs> and they, say, they say it's reversible. Imagine if you reverse it the first time you make love after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll be like Vesuvius, won't it? <laughs> Yeah, it'll be old. like a water cannon. You can, you can plaster your kitchen with it, can you? Yeah. So like that. Oh, oh, you don't go too far, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Like, that's what I found very odd about it, the idea that if, if you can't see anything coming out, like, men could fake it too. And one of us should be enjoying this, surely. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit sorry for the sperm, because they don't know this is happening. So they're getting get us up, point like, come on, lads, they're all ready for a night out. And then it's like, yeah, you go out on a Sunday and all the trains are cancelled or delayed. And they're going, oh, we're going to have to go back to the balls and get a pizza, lads. <laughs> you know, it's going to get three billion pizzas, please. Yeah. <laughs> you make it out like your testicles are like our beef or something. Yes, yeah, right. Like, oh, yeah, 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 every That's time. Party. Smashing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, it's not a new thing, is it? You insert a fluid that stops you having proper sex. And men do that already, but it's called alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to be that popular, though. You know, no, the idea that you have an injection in your testicles. Yeah. Uh, well. Injection in testicles, two words that shouldn't go together in the same sentence. <laughs> still have, I mean, we're being silly, cos it's just the sperm that will be stopped. There'll still be all of the... the general ejaculates? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, there <laughs> possibly no, no, will be. The um, I'm not sure. The, uh, but, yeah, mm. but... I think it's I think gel in the tube. Oh, it's yeah. gel blocks the tube. It's gel blocks the tube. Oh, this is the, this is oh. the problem. Oh, it is yeah. trust. This has been tested on baboons. It is. It is. It has. It, it has. blocks the tube. No, no listen. It's injecting their penises. Okay, you have to calm down until so so we give the fact that nobody yeah. is wanking off baboons. <laughs> We don't know that for sure. We don't as well. <laughs> okay. You okay. So I, ask you, I can't say that for definite. <laughs> just globally, no. there may be somewhere somebody right now Thank you. wanking yeah. off a balloon. Thank right? you. <laughs> just, <laughs> let's leave that option yeah. open. Yeah. It works. Somebody's it's been testing baboons. Baboons were, were given this injection into the vas deferens, the tube from the yeah. testicles to the penis. Uh, <laughs> that's in your speaking. That's how it's said in, in, the, in, this, in this field. They tested it on baboons, and they said they did it for like six months, and they said after six. Six months and none of the baboons were pregnant, so they've just assumed it works. But how do you know the baboons just weren't that good at sort of working the magic? Do you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> <laughs> just like, baboons well, going, hey, hey how you doing? Nothing? Okay, see you later. Do you, do you want to have sex? No, because I've just been injected in the penis, so Frank, do <laughs> you like to, to leave me alone for a while? Can we just cuddle? Can we just do that? Why is it always boom, boom, boom with you lady baboons? Right? <laughs> I've just had an operation on my genital area and I'd like to be held. Uh, <laughs> Don't rush me! Don't rush me! I feel vulnerable right now. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Bad things to say on a first date. I'm not wearing any knickers, cos I just shat myself. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a good one. Name your favourite three members of the Nazi party. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, that, that's the great thing about a blind date, isn't it? You don't know who you're going to meet. <laughs> How are you, mother? <laughs> no, it's totally all right, son. I just wanted to make sure you got home safely. That'd be eight pounds, please. <laughs> Do I want tiramisu? Hmm. I tiramidu. <laughs> Ah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I didn't realise how far the restaurant was away from the STD clinic. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what brand of pants do I wear? God, that's a forward question. Um, incontinence. <laughs> So, I've marked your homework. <laughs> Do you have a condom? Cos the police are coming and I need to swallow this cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> My last girlfriend said I was unnecessarily mysterious. Or did she? <laughs> Oh, no, it's really great to meet another Star Wars fan. Yeah. Mmm, blowjob I will get. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Dutch. I'll have the poppadoms, please. <laughs> <laughs> My last girlfriend abandoned me at the altar. Not into animal sacrifice, apparently. <laughs> Oh, you're back. How's the shit? <laughs> Don't tell me. Lamb. Am I right? It's just that I was expecting a woman. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely film trailers. <laughs> One man... <laughs> ..fights his greatest peril. Laryngitis. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler in. Wow, the matter is, it's going to be shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> A UKIP film presentation 101 Damn Asians. <laughs> Tom Cruise in the most ludicrous sci-fi thriller yet, a Scientology documentary. <laughs> <laughs> this summer, Russell Crowe is punching people randomly in the face. <laughs> <laughs> From the makers of Kaka One. Oh, oh! <laughs> Kaka <Kaka-2>. Two. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to have the words to let it go in your head all the time until you die? Then come see Frozen. <laughs> I dare you! <laughs> Thor. You'll be amazed at how many problems can be solved by a big man with a massive hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I Can't Read Productions presents Salmon Fishing in the Seamen, Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an ancient African city from the makers of Timbuk One. <laughs> <laughs> Russell Crowe stars as Bob Marley. The accent's so offensive, you won't even care that he blacked up. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Explosions. A flash of boob. That'll do you. <laughs> <laughs> Despicable Me 3. Now starring as the arch-villain Gru, Dara O'Brien. <laughs> It looks like a runner bean, only smaller. From the makers of Mange One. <laughs> <laughs> I only told you to blow the bloody door off. In cinemas now, the Oscar Pistorius story. At the end of that round, the point is going to end here at Milton. 
hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not very high. Sorry. So it's just this one side is doing it all the time, and that's really unfair. I'm so sorry, right? You two, I just you're kind of hogging it a bit. So for the rest of the round, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to. <laughs> Things you won't hear at the World Cup. Dun 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 d